Hello, my name is Cynthia Payton and I'm a career specialist here at the East Baton Rouge Parish Libraries Career Center. And today we're gonna to walk through how to apply for a produce position with Albertsons. Great. Now the first thing we're gonna do is that we're going to go to Albertsons here. So in the address bar, you wanna type in A-L-B-E-R-T-S-O-N.com. And that's gonna bring you to the screen right here. And you also notice right here in the middle of this, of this screen, they're asking you right away, choose how you would like to shop. We're not shopping, so we're gonna close that. What we are looking for is something that says jobs, join us, careers. We don't see it here at the top. So let's scroll down to the bottom. Okay, and under company information, you see the word careers. Let's click on that. We're gonna allow Aversons to know our location. We're gonna click allow. And here it already has Goodwood. What we're gonna do is we're gonna say search jobs. Click on search jobs. And you see it gives us College Drive and different other various locations. And if College Drive is a good place for you or you feel comfortable working there, that is where you should go. We feel okay about working there. So we're gonna click on Produce Department because that's the job we're looking for, Produce Department. Okay, great. And now under the produce department, it allows you to choose locations. It also tells you about the external description. It also gives you a, a good synopsis of what the job entails. We're gonna choose locations. And here it gave, gave us a little too much we're gonna put in a zip code. That's gonna bring us back to Baton Rouge. Great. Now, if you're interested in applying for all of these positions, if you have reliable transportation and you would like to work at any of these locations, then you can select that. We're gonna select Government Street, College Drive, and Perkins Road. And now we're gonna click apply. Now the screen that just popped up here, it is a, a screen that's gonna allow you to create an account if you don't have an account already. And you'll see the social media platforms here. Now this is LinkedIn, Facebook, Google, Yahoo. Once you are able to create an account, in the future, you'll be able to click on one of these and it'll automatically log you in. Now this would be helpful so that you won't have to uh, continue to put in your password. Uh, but here at the Career Center, we do recommend you link up to LinkedIn, but these other three, this may be an issue uh, later on that they may be, um, uh, accessing a little too much of your information. So what we're gonna do right now, since we do not have an account with them, we're gonna create an account. And we do that by inserting our email. And our email is cmfredderick nine five at yahoo.com. Now, as we're about to do our password, you see this blue screen pops up to make sure that you put in the necessary characters. And a character is a letter, a number, or those 
Other special characters like an explanation point, the at sign, the number sound, sign, the dollar sign, those are all special characters, but they're all considered characters. And so our password will be Okay, great. Let's see, it doesn't allow us to look at it, but we're going to tell B E R T S O N Albertsons 2020 and the explanation point. And we're going to retype that. We're going to have a capital A L B E R T S O N 2020 explanation point. We're going to click create account. Now be sure to write that down. Now it didn't allow it didn't allow you an opportunity to take a picture of it, but however, I will make a note of it. And um, if you feel comfortable with uh, just leaving it written down somewhere in a secure place, I would do that, or I would take a picture and put it in my phone, maybe under your files. Okay, now the next thing we're going to do is we're going to fill in this information regarding contact information. Okay, you see it already has populated our email address. So the first thing we need to do is type in our name, which is Cody. We have no, we have no middle name that we would like to put in. And so we're going to put in our last name. And this is a good place to just let you know that these asterisks right here, these red asterisks, these are the only places that you'll need to actually respond unless the application will not move forward. And you'll have to answer something. But normally when this asterisk is here, these are questions that you must answer or you cannot go any further. Now it asks for our address. 823, Imaginary Lane, Imaginary Lane, okay, in the city of Baton Rouge, let's spell that correctly, and it's already populated the country of the United States, that's great, now, it, there's no asterisk here by state, but we're going to go ahead and put one anyway, and our zip code, 78, 78806, and it also asks for our phone number, 225. It doesn't give a format, so we're just going to type the number in. And now we're going to click this right facing arrow to move forward. Great. And now we have the equal employment opportunity information. And right here, you see this asterisk says required. And this very first question says voluntary self-identification of race, ethnicity. Are you Hispanic or Latino? It's no. Okay, if you answer no, please select one of the following, following categories that best describes your race. We're Asian and voluntary self-identification of gender. You have four choices here. We're gonna say male. Let's go down further, further, and we're gonna hit the right facing arrow. Now, uh, there's other information on this page. We want to make sure we let you know you need to read each word on this application. Data protection statement. Okay, Albertsons companies processes personal data that you voluntarily submit via our career center only for recruitment purposes, et cetera, et cetera. You wanna, again, read this information very thoroughly. 
and you want to click here, I agree to the above, and the right click the right arrow. Preliminary questions. Please answer all the questions presented below. At Averson's company, companies, we are driven by your success. We engage your unique talents and perspectives. We welcome your ideas on how to do things differently and better. In your efforts to achieve, learn, and grow, we support you all the way. If success motivates you, you belong at Albertson's company. Like that. Now, are you under the age of 18? No. Okay. What is your highest level of completed education? Okay, some technical school. Are you authorized to work in the United States? Yes. Anytime you come across that question, you want to automatically say yes. If you are a United States born citizen, citizen or if you have um, a naturalized citizen or you have a green card that allows you to work. Do you have prior employment with any employer? If you indicate yes, you'll be required to provide your previous employment history information. This would also include military service or reserve service or volunteer experience. Yes, we do have. Do, did you graduate from high school or receive a GED? Yes. The hiring process may consist of a phone interview, manager's interview, reference checks, and potential employment assessment. Are you willing to participate in this process? Absolutely. Absolutely. I'm going to click yes. Please indicate below departments which you may be interested in working. Okay, now let's look at this carefully. Now, this will probably increase your chances of getting employed if you are willing to be flexible enough to work in various departments. It's also a great learning experience. Bakery, of course, customer service, yes. Deli, front end service, health and beauty, grocery, pharmacy, produce, seafood, great. I certify that all information I provided to Albertson's company in support of my application for employment is true and accurate, yes. Thank you for completing the preliminary questions. Please click the forward arrow to continue. Okay, now electronic signature disclaimer. You, again, you wanna read this carefully. And once you've read it, you wanna click this box. I agree to the above. Scroll down, hit the right arrow, move to the next section. Okay, great. Now they have a po they populated some of the information, and for some reason, uh, they didn't populate this. We're going to answer that question for the. It says county, but it's actually a parish here in Louisiana. I'm going to click on East East Baton Rouge Parish, and let's see if there is any other spots that uh, need our attention. Okay. You want to make sure you answer every section that has a red dot or two red dots. Okay, here's one right here, but that doesn't apply to us because we answered yes. Okay, but this one does. Would you require sponsorship now or any time in the future? No, you will not. You are a U.S. born citizen, and that negates that question. All right. We don't have to answer that also because we answered it here. Do you have any relatives or members of your household employed by the company in the location to which you have applied? So they're basically asking you, do you have a relative that's working at the places that you are requesting to work. 
whether the Perkins store, the Government Street store, College Drive, et cetera, do you have a relative working in any of those locations? And the answer is no. Okay, now if we had answered yes, then we'd have to fill this information out. Since we do not, we're gonna go to availability. Date available to work. Today is August 7th. We are available August 8th. Total hours available to work. We're gonna say 40. We're looking for a full-time job. What is your availability? We're gonna click this little downward arrow right here. Anytime you click that, that is already some pre-programmed selections or answers or responses. Let's say anytime we are free and available. For each day of the week, please include the earliest start time and latest end time, including a.m. and p.m. And it gives you an example. It's at 1 p.m. to 6 p.m. So Monday, we're early birds, so we would like to start our day beginning at 8 a.m. 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. And that's every day, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Again, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Thursday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Friday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Saturday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Sunday, 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Great. Now, accommodations. You may request an accommodation during the application interviewing. We, we read this and we understand, but we don't actually need any accommodations. So we're gonna move forward to the next section. Okay, great. That was no problems there. And now it asks for our education. And so we're going to add education here. Okay, so this would be the most recent employment, I'm sorry, the most recent education that you've received. So if you received a, um, let's say an associate's degree at Baton Rouge Community College, this is where you will put this information. Not your high school first, you're gonna do a reverse chronological order. So the most recent certificate, diploma, or award that you've received, this is where you will put this information first. So we received, we attended Baton Rouge Community College, Wright Technical School, and we yes, we received Hospitality Management, Hospitality manage, Management. Okay, now this uh, pops up and um, this pops up a calendar. Now these calendars are often very tricky. So what, I'd, what I've uh, learned to do is I start with the year. So the year I began this particular journey was in 2014. So I don't see 2014 there, so I'm gonna go back. I'm gonna use my, my arrow keys. I'm gonna, I'm gonna press on the uh, key. I'm gonna press on the smallest number and that's going to bring me back to where I need to go. 
So by pressing on the number on the left, it decreased the, the date. It increased the number of the year. And so we're going to click on 2014. So now the 2014 is highlighted. We're going to go to the month. So the month was August. So we don't need to change that. And so we do need to click on the fifth. Great. And so that was a two year program. And so we're going to do it again. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to click right here and it's going to pop up the calendar. And we, we finished that program in 2015. So by clicking on the date to the left, Great, and now 2015 is highlighted. August is a month we were looking for. Again, and we're gonna do 818, great. That's the day we finished school. Any, any achievements, I'm sorry, any achievements here? Please list any other certificates and academic achievements. We do have training in CPR and we received that in 2019. We're going to move forward. And now we're looking to do uh, employment history. Do you have prior employment with an employer? Yes. If you indicate yes, fields below mark with an asterisk will be required. Okay, this will also include military service or reserve service. That doesn't um, apply to us since we do not have any prior military experience. Have you ever worked for Albertson, Safeway, Bonds, Randalls, Thompson, etc.? And these are the umbrella companies that are associated with Albertsons. We've never worked for any of those. Make sure you read, the, read that carefully. And then we're gonna click no. And we're gonna add our first employer. Please start with your current or most recent employer, including military and or volunteer organization. Great. So we're gonna start right here. Again, this is reverse chronological order. So the most recent position that you had, this is where you will put that information. And we were working at Walter's Supermarket. And we, let's say, okay, and now we need the country. I'm glad the United States is right at the top, the state was Louisiana City, Baton Rouge. Oops, my cursor went somewhere, Baton Rouge. A zip code 70815. Position, we're cashier. And the supervisor's name, Bob Billingsley. And the supervisor's telephone number, 225. 789-2345. Is this your current employer? Previous employer. Great. Reason for leaving or considering leaving? The reason why we're leaving to, this is a part-time job here with Walter Supermarket. And we're looking for a full-time job. So we're only getting 30 hours. There's an opportunity to get 40 hours here at Alpersons. And so that's what we're going to do. Seeking full-time, full-time position. Great. And we've been working for this particular comic company from for a couple of years now and so we began that position again 
We're going to click to the left till we get the number we're looking for. So we began that in 2017, and that was in January 2017, the second. And we ended this employment in 2019. Oh, I'm sorry, 2020, it was at the beginning of the year. And that was March the 3rd. Okay, and the duties but for this particular a job, you want to make sure you put that down, assisted customers. And what you want to do, you want to make sure that you put it in, in the correct, correct tense. So this is a job you're no longer doing. So you put assisted customers with their purchases. Okay, operated. Cash register. Handle. Financial. Successfully. Not too many D's here. Let's correct that. And maintain floor displays. Okay, may we contact this employer? Yes, absolutely. Have you ever been dismissed from a job or resigned from a job? In lieu of termination? No. Okay, great. We want to add one more employer. And so we're going to click Add Employer. Okay, and that particular employer is the rack. Okay, and that was Mall Drive. And the country is United States. The state was Louisiana. City, Baton Rouge. Zip 70809. Position held there. We were a um, store associate. Supervisor's name, Sandra Dean. Supervisor's phone number, 37-456-9876. Now, these are fictitious numbers, so please don't um, find any need to use those. Is this your current employer? No, it's not. It's previous. Reason for leaving? You received um, a better offer. And we want to make sure we word this correctly. Now, you were lured away by a better offer to work at the supermarket. And this was also in line with your particular um, education that you were seeking at the time. So you left for a um, better opportunity. Better opportunity to grow and develop. A better opportunity to grow and develop with um, with the company. And if you're in a job uh, interview this you can explain that you were just moving on to a better opportunity but you want to be careful what you put here you don't want to say you were if you had an issue with a supervisor or whatever or you just was tired of the job you don't want to say something like that you want to say something that's going to be appealing to the next employer because you don't want to seem like that there was a problem at any point with your employer. Okay, again, we were at this particular position from, we were only there a couple of, 2015. Okay, that was June 15th. 
2019. Oops, 2017. There you go, 2017 through September. Great. And your duties included your assisted customers, customers with their purchase. Operated, operated cash registers, inventory, merchandise, built floor displays, and you train new workers. May we contact this employer? Yes, of course. Okay, great. Have you ever been dismissed from a job or resigned from a job in lieu of termination? No. Great. Now we're going to move on. And you'll notice here uh, with the application form that you have three checks. So you've completed three sections so far. And now we add the acknowledgement form. So again, you want to read all of this information very carefully, very thoroughly. Now, please, please let us know if you receive assistance completing this application. Complete and signed by applicant. You didn't have any assistance. If that's not the case for you, you want to answer accordingly. Okay, you want to type in your name just as it's, just as it's seen above, Cody Frederick. And they're going to create an e-signature, an electronic signature, using this information, Cody Frederick. You accept that, and you're going to move on to the next page. Great. At this point, you want to review your information to make sure everything is correct. Great. Everything looks great, everything looks fine. Now, I'm not sure if it's going to allow you to um, make a copy, but at this point right here, if you want to just capture this information on your cell phone, capture all this information, this might be a good place to do it. If you're looking at your education history and you think, okay, I, do I need to, oh, we do need to answer this question. It says, did you graduate from high school or receive a GED? Well, I know we answered that. So let's click on edit and let's make sure we answer that question. Yes. Did you graduate from high school or receive a GED? Yes. Okay, that's great. Let's move on. Okay, it took us here. Great. Everything looks fine here, except there seems to be a problem here with employer two. Let's see, do we an not answer something correctly? Okay, have you ever been dismissed from job? No. Okay, what are they saying that we have not done? Now, here's a check right here. All right, so let's go and move forward. Okay, we had the acknowledgement. Great. We accepted this. Let's move forward. Okay, we back at the application form. Everything looks fine. Now, let's see if that we can move forward. Click the right arrow. Great. Thank you for submitting your, your information. You can download a copy below. Take advantage of that. You want to do that. You must click the arrow below to submit your application for consideration and complete the next step in the process. Don't 
ignore that. And just for a point of reference, anytime you see something in red or highlighted or with asterisks, pay attention to that because I can guarantee you it will not allow you to move forward or complete your application until you have done that. So if you want to download the completed form, this would be an excellent opportunity for you to do that. Highly recommend you do that so that when you go to another application, you have the information already there. And I must warn you that every application is different, but at least you have the bones of it there. You have the education, you have the employment history, you have your supervisor's information, all right there at your fingertip. And that's what you want to make your application process a whole lot smoother. Okay, great. So we're gonna move forward. We're gonna submit the application. Now this says a rehire check, prior employment with Aversons companies. We're not a re rehire, so we're gonna move forward with that. It says errors found. Rehire check, please. Prior employment with Aversons company. Oh, I'm sorry, it's asking for your social security. So what they're doing is checking to see if you were with the company before. It asks for your birthday, the birth day, and the, let's see what that is. Good morning, second. And the month is May. Okay, great. So this form is just to recheck to see, actually, or were you an employee of the company or the companies prior to this application? All right, great. Thank you for your interest in opportunities with Aversons companies and completing this portion of the application process for the produce department position. We have received your application and will send an email to advise you of any next step. And don't miss that. They're saying that they're going to send an email to you. And that's how they're going to correspond. So you're going to need to check that email on a regular basis. Like as soon as you complete this application, you want to get on your email and check it to see that they send something to you. It may just be a verification that they received the application, but you're gonna to need to check that, check that email on a regular basis. Meanwhile, you can click the check status button right here to return to the submittal activity page to check your application status and review any additional instructions. Let's just do that. Okay, great. It says your application is complete. You may apply to additional location. Simply click the arrow and choose. So if you wanna choose different locations, wherever there's an Albertsons, you have the opportunity to do that. Thank you for viewing our YouTube channel. If you found this video helpful, please like it and subscribe. Be sure to follow us on all our social media platforms. We wish you well on your job search journey.